Yesterday, Intel announced their ninth generation of CPUs. They announced the i9 9900K, the i7 9700K, and the i5 9600K. Now, they're touting the i9 9900K as the world's best gaming processor. And if you scroll down here, where is it? Okay, so here's the table about it. Um, at the top here, you've got the 9900K. The base clock is 3.6, it goes up to 5 gigahertz. It's got 8 cores and 16 threads. All of them will draw 95 watts. The 9700K, 3.6 up to 4.9. Interestingly, it doesn't have hyper-threading. It's got 8 cores and 8 threads. And then you've got the i5 9600K, 3.7 up to 4.6. 6 cores, 6 threads, 95 watts again. Um, and then you've got the price here, $488, $374, $262. And of course, in the UK, they're charging more. Now, I've saw that there's, there's um, pre-sale already in the USA, and I saw that the 9900K has been uh, released there at $529.99. So I'm not sure if you'll see it cheaper than that. I'm not sure. CPU prices can be a little bit funny upon release, and they go a little bit higher and things like that. In the UK, though, I did notice that a lot of websites like Scan and eBuyer, they've got it at £600. So at that price... I would just simply order it from Amazon.com and get it delivered to the UK. Even with the tax and all that, you'll be saving a lot of money. Um, and it does say it ships to the United Kingdom, which you can't see because of my webcam, but it is there. Um, there's a better explanation of of the, the CPU here on, um, on the CPUs on Anantec. Now, if I scroll down, they've got a good table here. There we go. Um, so they've got a comparison table there between the 9th series and the 8th series. Now, I'm running an 8700K in my computer just now, the one that's actually powering this video. And I was going to find the big box for it and then I realised I bought it OEM. Now, this new generation of CPUs will work on the Z370 motherboards, which you should be able to see in the background, the Z370 Oris I've got back there. It won't work on a motherboard like that. You know, I've got two um, Z270s there. It won't work, work with those motherboards. You'll need the, is it coffee-like they call it? So they need that generation. Um, I don't know, like like for me, I've went from 8700K, which was one of the best ones last year. And I don't think there's an incentive for me to go up to 9700K. Now, they are kind of very similar prices, and you'll probably see a lot more bargains with 8700K with the with the new generation coming out. There's going to be certain applications and certain situations where the 9700K is better with the eight cores, but there might be certain situations with you know with the 12 threads that the 8700K is better. That's my understanding of it anyway. Um, the 9900K looks like an absolute beast, but. I don't know. I, I I really can't justify upgrading to the 9900K. It looks like a fantastic CPU, but for me, it, it is a jump. It is a jump, obviously. It is a jump in performance, but I don't see the point of me selling my 8700K to buy this. I'll probably wait for the next generation before I even consider anything. But, <clears throat> excuse me, this certainly looks like um, a really impressive CPU list. The 9900K especially looks like a, a fantastic CPU. They're touting it as um, the world's best gaming processor and no doubt, no doubt a lot of people will be buying it for that. So I'll leave a link to all of this if you want to look more into this. I don't claim to be the world's most technical person when it comes to CPU and all the architecture and all that. Um, the reason I went with the A700K last year is because it was one of the best but it was also an all-rounder, you know, for video editing and streaming and all that. But the 9900K with 8 cores certainly looks like a beast. And if you're looking for a, a fantastic gaming PC, you're looking to build a fantastic gaming PC, or you just want an all-round PC that can do videos and, you know, editing and streaming and all these different things, then you might want to opt for this new 9900K. Or even the 9700K. That might be a little bit of a better buy. Um, I don't know if I would go out and pre-order though. I don't know if I would wait. I don't know if I would pre-order. I would maybe wait to see what the prices are like and what offers are out there once it's actually out and once it's actually been released. So I would wait. You know, I would I would wait to see what happens. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll leave links to all of these pages so you can check them out. Uh, let me know what you think about it, and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Cheers.